Hey there, it's Jojo the Thrifty Teacher here with another haul. If you haven't followed me or know who I am, I am a part-time reseller, full-time educator. I do this on the side for fun and to make extra money uh, to fix things around the house, the car, all that good stuff. I do not edit my videos because I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not trying to become some YouTube person. But I wanted to show you my haul. It is heavy on clothes because, again, the hard goods have sucked lately. Um, and some books. The Monster Diaries. This was uh, $2.29. Pink is 50% off this week. Or last week or whenever. But I love it because it has the different monsters. And then their diary entry. Isn't that cute? Water, plants, and feed birds. Important. Go to the hardware store to buy new bolts. I will lose my head if it's not screwed on. Go to the beauty parlor for a facial. Buy skis. The abdominable snowman has invited me skiing. Also need to find size 64 boots. Tell Doc Victor that the kids at school keep hitting me. If they keep doing this, I will end up with a flat head. Frankie. Dracula. Get alarm clock repaired. It keeps ringing early and I get up in daylight. There is nothing worse for a vampire's skin than sunlight and I can't face going to the beauty parlor and listening to Frankie complaining about the school kids again. Pick up cake at the cleaners. Make sure they don't give me the ghost sheet again. I'm in enough trouble with the Grave Owners Association. Moon bathe. I don't think the sun cream some person sent me will be any use. Sharpen teeth. They have years I've worn them out. I mean, it's cute. So... I usually just bring these to work and either keep them at work or I give them to a teacher. Um, okay. So what do we got here? Let me push this back so you can see. This is very boho, prairie. Um, this was $4.99. I got 20% off because uh, I have my 20% off uh, coupon. And, hold on. Uh, maybe Boa, Boamo? Boa, Bomo? I don't know. But, uh, it's very boho, hippie, lag and look kind of thing. Um size medium. I like how it has this kind of corset tie. It has these danglies. I liked that I had the bead on there and this will retail for, I mean not retail, it'll probably resell for 40 to 40 bucks, 30 to 40. So I definitely had to get that. I got this for the shelter. I paid $2.49 for it. I really liked how it looks. So this is the, I don't know what this is. This must be the part that goes around you. So you can do it like this if you want. And then here's the latch. And then if you need to hold them closer, you can hold it like that. But I like how it was padded. The brand is Top Cloth. I'm pretty sure it's nice, so I'm pretty sure it's a pricey. I don't know, I might keep it. Just because I like it. This was interesting because this was a $4.99. This is Knox Rose Small Medium. But I've never seen. So it's a uh just like a what do you call it? Poncho. But I've never seen a Knox Rose look like this. Where it has this kind of material and then it has more of like the blanket kind of tassels on the end. Um, let me see what this is on the inside. It's a big tag, don't you think? It's a little big. Yeah. It smells good. If you ever had this, it smells really good. Mm, that is good. 
Um, I didn't look up comps on this because I paid $4.99 minus 20%. So I was like, even if I get $25 for it, and hello, it's white and it doesn't have any stains on it. That's amazing. And it feels, has a good weight too. Look at this. You know, you should know what this is before I even tell you who it is, right? Right? This was only $6.49 minus 20%. Lily Pulitzer. Size 8. I love the straps on this. It's just a classic Lily Pulitzer pattern. I love how long it is, and it has the side slits, and it has the lining inside. No stains. I think people miss some of this stuff at um, some of the Goodwills I go to because some of their some of their racks are like tight, 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 tight. And when you even separate two things, there's like three more things shoved in there. So I think people miss it, you know? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had them wrap this for me. Um, this was $3.49 minus 20%. I'm going to stop saying minus 20% because I get 20% off after I spend over 20 bucks. But look at the, like the pinhole eyes here. And then... It is, when I Google lensed it, because I was like, I don't know what this is. It comes from Russia. I just thought it was so cute. And I was like, holy crap, it's not broken? And it's at Goodwill? That's amazing. But it's um, a Russian, it's Russian made. And uh, I think I saw comps for like $25 to $30. So that'll go up on my shelf until it gets sold. Then. Okay, so... I don't look through every piece of clothing. I don't look at the smalls. Well, I'll go by the smalls like real quick. And if anything strikes me, usually I stick to the extra large, large mediums. But I also look and try to see if I can see any linen pieces or just pieces that stick out to me. So here's this. Just a run of the mill, right? This was $5.99. But, but I had to look real close. And when I looked real close, look what it is. You see that? CP Shades. Now, I like finding CP Shades. I mean, I've only bought one piece, and it's not particularly pretty, so it hasn't sold yet. But this is a very classic piece. You know, you can wear this with dress pants or jeans, or you it could be layered. But I just was like, yes! Um... Don't see a size. Let's see here. Size small. 100% linen made in the USA. I like when it has an extra button. I'm like, that to me seems a little bit more quality. I mean, it's not always the case, but usually. And then I'm a sucker for old vintage nightgowns. Look how pretty. This was $2.99. Look how deep that V is. It must have had a robe with it at some point because look how deep that V is. Like, you are not leaving anything to the imagination. It looks like they... Here's a bow, but it has like a pin. I'm wondering if the bow came off at some point. I'm not sure. This is a... It says Made in USA. USA size large. I know it's older because if you look, it has the union, um, the union label on it. Let me see. Union label, NEIC. Like ladies, something with the union. Love that stuff. I just love it. And I paid $2.99 minus 20%. So what is that? Um, $3.60, cents, $2.40. So if I get $15 for it, pretty, just pretty. And I know it's like nylon or like whatever, but I just love the way that feels. Receipt. Let's see, what do I want to show you next? Um, I'll show you. Uh, $249. These comps were kind of all over the place depending on what it was from her, but... 
uh, Gilligan O'Malley. It's hard to see the size. The size is not on there. So I'll put measurements in. Yeah. Um, but I just thought this was so pretty. It's like the little house on the prairie kind of thing. Look at that. Look at the little lace on the arms. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Little buttons. They're faux buttons, but they're cute. And then this is by the same, it's by Gilligan O'Malley, but it's not, it doesn't go with it. But I was like, duh, I have to get it. Three, three ninety nine. Is that the size on it? Size medium. So I'm wondering if that's probably a size medium because they're right next to each other. But this is like a house coat night, uh, nightgown. Long sleeve with the um, elastic. And just, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but let me do this so you can see it. Look at that. That's so cute. I just love stuff like this. I just love it. And I love how it has like the little bit of a waffle texture to it. And then this was my winner, winner, winner. Again, before I go to any of the clothes, I go to the pajamas because I just love finding old vintage stuff. But I saw this and I was like, ooh, I love the pattern on this. $3.99. One size, which, you know, it's one size fits most. So it's just a three-quarter length sleeve robe, right? Look at that pattern. Look at this brand. Watch this brand. Find this brand. Seville Row. 100% silk. Some of these were going for a couple hundred dollars. Now, I don't think mine will. I don't know. I didn't look up the silk ones. Um... rip I don't know what it is though and holy cow it actually had it with it and the lady that I was talking to at the register the girl was like yeah she goes sometimes they the robes come in with them and people don't think to put the tie with the robe and then they'll just throw the ties and I said at least you guys should do is put them on the end caps where the belts are so we can try to match it up and she's like yeah I know This dress was pretty cool. This uh, was seven forty nine, um, and let me look at it. But here's the front of it, right? A nice navy blue. But look at the bottom. It's a really long dress, but it buttons all the way down. Look at this. Isn't that a pretty color? It's just so classy. I just love how it comes into the waist and then it goes down. Um, the brand is LK Bennett London. This retails for pretty good money too. Uh, probably get 40 or 50 bucks from it, but it's, it's beautiful. I just love that color combination. You can't see it, I guess, but it's more, it's like a, like a blush pink and then the orange and the navy blue. It's just so cute. And then this was $7.49. I did not, I wasn't super excited about paying $7.49 for a Knox Rose um, top. I think I, Knox Rose is from Target. So Knox Rose size large, but it had the new tag at a $30 price tag, whatever. But look at this. This is such a cute tunic. Isn't that just the cutest? And I love the orange tag on it. Oh. I'm a sucker for Knox Rose. I just think they make some really nice pieces and they hold up well. And I don't know. I just like them. I like their pieces. 
And then this is another brand that's new to me. The Bennett one was too. Uh, this was $7.49 again. But again, I didn't know this brand before I looked at it in the store. And I was like, ooh, look at this nice blue, just a blue shift dress. But look at like the pattern on it. I thought that was cool. So this is a, it's called uh, J McLaughlin, size large. I also think when they put a zipper in the back and then they put this little eye hook thing, I feel like that's better quality because they put it in there for you. That could just be me making stuff up, but I don't think so. All right, let's keep on going. This was $4.99 minus 50% because it was pink. I really like these. Um, I've sold everyone that I've found and listed in pretty quick, probably like a two weeks. Winlar, one size fits most. And it's just a kimono, or a caftan, I'm sorry, a caftan. I just love the prints on them. I love how long they are. I love that you can wear it no matter what size you are. I love that you can wear it as a cover up. I would love it that you can just wear it out. I love it that you can wear it around the house like Mrs. Roper. I just love it. Teddy Bear 249, which, hello, 249 minus 20%. So 250 minus 20%. And who doesn't love a cute little teddy bear? Um, the reason why I picked him up was because of his color. I love the little felted feet. I liked that it had this tag. And then when I looked at and he's like, a, he's a hefty bear, you know? And it says a Nisbet limited edition, 253 of 5,000, 1984. I love that he's jointed so he can move. I love him. I think he's cute. I looked these up online. They go anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks. I think he had clothes on him at one point. Look at him. He's got a dress on. Um, okay, let me show you this. This was $7.49. I love buying Lauren Ralph Run. It sells pretty consistently for me. Size 16, so it's a good size. Look at how beautiful this dress is. Look at how beautiful this dress is. And it's new with tags. Isn't this beautiful? Gosh, I love it. And it was Macy's um, $190. Somebody returned it. So I'm wondering if they um, <laughs> wore it and then returned it. But it's beautiful. It's in great shape. Hundred ninety bucks. I ain't paying one hundred ninety bucks, even if it was on sale at Macy's. You know, it wasn't like Kohl's where they give it to you like, oh, this was originally one hundred ninety bucks and now it's twenty nine cents. You know, I just think it's beautiful. Gosh, it's gonna look good on the mannequin too. This was a score. I mean, I feel like the Lauren Ralph Lauren is, but as soon as you see this, what do you think? I hope you think cashmere, because yes, cashmere. This was $5.99 minus 20%. Hold on. It smells good. Whoever got rid of their clothes put some beautiful perfume on it. This is a brand to look out for. Van Winkle & Co. You wouldn't think so by the tag. Size medium. 100% cashmere. Um, and it's beautiful because, you know, usually on cashmere, how you look and you're like, oh, this is beautiful. And then you find a hole somewhere. This has no holes. It did have, um, a place for a tie or something, but you could just put a black belt through there or a nice suede gray one. Fudge. I just 
spoke too soon, and I already took the tag off. Look at the hole. Darn it all to heck. Well, I could still sell it and just disclose that it has, because it had some filling right here. But I have a shaver that my sister got me for Christmas, because that's so pretty. Damn it. I could have returned it, but I already took the tag off. But even if I get 20 bucks for it, even if I get 20 bucks for it, I wonder how much it costs to fix a cashmere sweater like that. I wonder if it would be worth it. Um, and then finally, they had probably about 20 different peanut items um, from here and then Westland, I think. So this one is, um, and I had to pay up for this, $9.49 minus 20%. So I looked them up because I wasn't going to pay $9.49 minus 20% if it wasn't something good. But it is a limited edition um, Hallmark Campfire Snoopy. Camp Snoopy. And the and I don't want to take all these out. Um, original price, 20 bucks. I looked this up as like 40 some dollars. But the tent is fabric. So I thought that was cool. I mean, if you really want to see them, I could take them out. But I'm like, eh. Um, I'll take this one out. This was $8.49. And they have their original paperwork in them. Not sure if all of them do, but this one did. Look at Woodstock and his wife. I didn't know Woodstock got married. And it has sparklies on it. Number 16 of 7,187. 2000. Wow, it's 24 years old. And then on the inside, it says to love and to cherish. Isn't that cute? So stinking cute. I love peanut stuff. I do love Snoopy and Woodstock um, more than the characters, but. Um, this one's the Great Pumpkin. Oh, this one I liked. Let me show you. Because it lights up. Look at how cute this is. And I was like, is it going to light up? It does. Somebody took really good care of their collection. Really good care. This is... It says 3E of 4,615. I don't know what 3E means. 2,000. But look how nice that still is. It's so cute. Still has the original paperwork, which is amazing. Maybe I should just pull out the other one just to show it to you. Hold on, let me make sure that... Is it Linus, right? That's not Pigpen, is it? I think it's Linus. No, because Pigpen would always probably have his blanket, right? He's not going to go somewhere without a blanket. That would be silly. All right, let me just show you. Original paperwork. Come on, Snoop. Snoop Dogg and Dog. Wow, wow, wow. Yippee, oh, yippee, oh, yippee. Yay. Wow, wow, wow. Look at I love a bisque finish on a piece. How cute is this? Like, shut up. Shut up. Camp Snoopy. And look at Woodstock, well, I'm sure these could be, man, these are Woodstock's kids. So, oh my gosh. And look at the, can you see how there's a little bit of toast on the marshmallow? Jeez Louise. It says 2E of 9,253. 
I'm going to have to look up 2E because it's like, it's not the second piece, maybe second edition. I don't know. Boy, that's cute. And look at the little fire. It's so cute. I wish, like, I would have bought all of them because there were some really cute ones, but I'm not paying $9 for every one of them when some of them were selling for like 14 you know? So I wasn't about to do that, but... And they're going to get broken. And some of them, you could tell, already got stolen um, because the boxes were empty. How does this work? What did I do? What did I do? All right. Um, what do you think we do here? Okay. So does it go in like this? I'll figure it out, people. I'll figure it out. I don't want to break it, though. That doesn't make sense. Right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, that was my thrift haul. I do need to take some pictures, but I also need to list. I also sold a can of hairspray and a tiki mug and a nightgown, so I need to pack that up since I didn't do it last night. So that is the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm JoJo the Thrifty Teacher. I'm a part-time reseller, full-time educator, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.